Hello YouTube, this is Goddard Radio Moscow here again with another beer review. Uh, this one will be a bit more of an exotic beer for you today. This is my first one from the Caribbean. This is Dragon Stout from Jamaica. Now as usual, let me just take you through a bit of the history of the brewery before I actually get on to tasting the beer itself. Uh, this beer is uh, brewed by Disnois and Geddes, who are best known for producing the famous Red Stripe Lager beer, as I'm sure you've heard of, easily available in, in many countries on import in cans, bottles, on tap, etc. But this particular brewery was founded in 1980 by Eugene Desnois and Thomas Geddes who combined their individual shops to create one single business. Now originally this company made soft drinks but they also sold alcoholic drinks imported from abroad and this company became an officially licensed uh, incorporated company on the 31st of July 1918. So obviously it's an early 20th century brewery. Now after about nine years of the brewery being in business the pair opened the Surrey Brewery in downtown Kingston and they produced the first red stripe beer here in 1928 but this original beer was an ale and it was found to be too heavy for the local Jamaicans and who, who really kind of disliked it. It wasn't very successful at all. But then the now famous lager was first developed here in 1938 by Paul H. Geddes who was the son of Thomas Geddes, one of the co-founders of the brewery, and his friend Bill Martindale. Now in 1935 the British government had tried to tax the beer as a means of protecting the sales of uh, British products that were available on the island but this proved to be unpopular among the locals and this particular law was, uh, was repealed. But incidentally uh, beer sales in Jamaica really took off with the influx of uh, British soldiers and allied soldiers indeed that were noticed on the islands during World War II. Obviously with uh, Jamaica being part of the British Commonwealth this, this happened. But anyway, the next notable point in history was in 1952 when Peter S. Estes Nois, the son of Eugene, the other co-founder of the brewery, became chairman of the company. And at this point, in 1958, uh, a new plant was built to replace the Surrey Brewery. And this, incidentally, at this just close by this point in history, in 1962, uh, Red Stripe Beer was featured in the first MGM-made James Bond film, Dr. No. Now, they also opened a plant in Montego Bay in 1966 to cope with the increased demand for soft drinks. And in this regard, actually, Desnois and Geddes are well known for producing the Ting Grapefruit Crush soft drink, as well as the Old Jamaican, um, Old Jamaican Ginger Beer. And apparently these were very popular in the UK for a point between the 1960s and 1970s, and I'm not sure about the 80s, but I've incidentally, I've never heard of them. I'll need to ask my parents if they remember these at all. But anyway, in 19... 93, Guinness acquired a 51% share in Desnois and Geddes. And incidentally, Desnois and Geddes had actually been one of the 12 breweries in the Caribbean who had been distributing Guinness for, for quite a long time. But in 1999, uh, Desnois and Guinness decided that they wanted to focus on actually producing beer themselves, and they sold their wine and spirits division to Ray and Nephew, a Jamaican rum producer. And the same year, they also sold their soda pop plant uh, to the Pepsi company, who you'll obviously have heard of. Now in 2001 the company changed its name from Desnois and Geddes to Red Stripe Limited and this was basically a gimmick to create quotes uh, the coolest beer company in the world although officially Desnois and Geddes remained the, uh, the legal name for the company and this was used on all sort of legal documentation since then. Now, Dragon Stout, incidentally, this particular beer was introduced in 1961, and according to the product description on the website, which I'll put in the description for the video, uh, it utilises grade A two-row European malt, caramel, roasted malt, and some dark brown sugar. So this should be an interesting one to taste. So let's get this open and get it tasted. Now, this is a 7.5% stout. Uh, oh, and before I open, actually, I'm forgetting to let you have a little look at the bottle and the cap. I'll just bring my camera open again. This one actually has actually has quite a nice uh, dragon style artwork on it, as you would expect. The uh, cap on it is fairly simple, as you can see. It just says Dragon Stout with the dragon that is available, uh, that is visible there on the label. Sorry, it says the uh, brewed and bottled by Red Stripe, two one four Spanish Town Road, Kingston eleven, Jamaica, West Indies. It has on it W I. But anyway, let's get this guy open and get it tasted. There we are, sorted. Okay, you can actually f smell a fair wee bit of the nose off of this before I've even really poured it at all. As you can see, it's going to be a very, very dark colour, this one. Let's get this some side tilt on this. Give it a bit more aggressive, see if I can get a bit of head on it. There's not much of a head on this one, to be honest. Try pouring it a bit more aggressive there, but nothing really, it has a kind of dark tan bubbly head on it as you can see that's fading very quickly um, it's pitch black, can't really see much in the way of carbonation, I'll just 
hand it up to the light. Yeah, it's a very very dark brown. When you shine the light through it, there's a kind of there's a little bit of a uh, ready color, amber, dark ambery color there. But anyway, let's get a, a wee se smell of the aroma here. The first thing that comes is the kind of um, it's very sweet smelling actually, which I'm surprised at for a stout. This is kind of I'm not used to a stout that actually smells that sweet. It's actually really quite a nice smell to it. But I'm smelling kind of uh, caramel aromas there, some dark chocolate and some kind of uh, coffee elements to it, and some uh, really dark fruits in there. I actually smell this is a really really nice smelling stout. I have to say. But let's just give this. Let's just give it a little taste. There's no lacing really being left in the glass by this one either, incidentally. It's quite sweet actually. You do get the the sweetness on the mouth. Yeah, kind of getting the uh, the sort of chocolate and coffee element to it up front. Like I say, it's quite sweet. You get the caramel in the background actually. The caramel comes later on with the taste of this beer. This is a really nice stout actually. I quite like this. But yeah, like I say, you get the chocolate up front. You get the caramel just a kind of little bit later on in it. There is a bit of sweetness to it as well. You get the dark fruits in there as well. This is a really, really nice stout, actually. I'm quite impressed by this. Jamaica, incidentally, the Caribbean isn't somewhere you'd think of where you'd find a nice stout beer. I have to say, this is quite a find. Mm. In terms of the mouthfeel, it's actually quite a... Uh, it's actually quite well carbonated, actually. It's got a nice mouthfeel. It's very smooth. In a way, it's slightly creamy as well because of the chocolatey element to it. This is a really nice one. On the finish, it's quite dry. It's actually, like I say, I'm not particularly into stouts, if I'm completely honest with you, but this is a really, really nice one. I would have no hesitation in, in seeking this particular beer out if I had known of it before. This is really, really nice. Hmm. Yeah, but like I say, it has a really, really nice aroma. You get the kind of dark chocolates to it. You get the caramel later in the taste. that has that element of dark fruits. It's actually fairly, fairly sweet, but it's very creamy at the same time. It's got a medium body. It's a very, very smooth beer. It's kind of dry on the finish. This is fairly easy drinking, actually, for a stout. Usually most stouts feel heavier than this. Maybe that's just the sort of Caribbean style, obviously, with the Caribbean being very hot. They want something that's a bit lighter. As I say, this is a very kind of surprising find to find a stout from the Caribbean that is this good. I really like this beer, to be honest. I would uh, I would highly recommend that if you have the chance, give this beer a try. Keep an eye out for it. It's I'm not I can't remember quite how much I paid for this beer, but this is a really really nice one. This is one that you should definitely give a give a try to. It's unusual in the sense because it's Jamaican stout. You know, it's uh, very unusual to hear of such a dark beer coming from such a hot place. But rest assured, this is a really nice beer, and I would highly recommend that you try this one. But anyway, I'll be off to enjoy the rest of this. Thanks again for watching my beer reviews. I'll be back soon with another one. I think I have Peroni Red in the fridge, so I might do that one next, or I might do uh, one of the Paul Anner ones that I have there. But anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll be back soon with another one. Uh, please like, subscribe, share the videos with your friends, comment and actually let me know your own thoughts on this beer if you've tried it, and even recommend me other beers to review, because I will look into that at some point. But thanks again for watching, and I shall catch you soon. Cheers.